What's up guys, we are back again and I'm definitely going to be talking about something that I should have been talking about a long time ago. I'm going to be talking about Yu-Gi-Oh! the animated series. Now again, I only got to a certain season. Let me just be clear on this. I got to a certain season. I can't remember if it was season 4, 3 or 4, but I kind of got out of it. But Yu-Gi-Oh! really got me into not only the cards... Um, I didn't watch all the others, so I'm going to say that now. So if you guys want to give me crap for it, that's fine. But I enjoyed this show a lot when I was a kid. When I was when I was growing up, Yu-Gi-Oh cards, Yu-Gi-Oh show, everything. You know, I, I loved it. You know, just I would say the second season was probably my favorite. Um, and the reason what really uh, felt what really drew me to this because I didn't know nothing about Yu-Gi-Oh. And the first thing I saw, and I, it, I was like at first, I was like, eh, it seems this, it seems that. And I loved how Blue Eyes, the white dragon looked. That is what drew me to the show to begin with, was Blue Eyes. I love dragons. So I was like, you know what? I'm, I'm going to check this out. And I really just, I dove in it so hard for me. Think, like anytime, like when I was younger, you know, if, if my mom or my grandparents was like going somewhere, you know, I'm like, hey, you know, if you find a Yu-Gi-Oh cards, you know, can you please get this, you know, give me this pack or whatever. And I, I collected them for the longest time, man. And I really regret getting rid of it at the time because I got rid of them when I was young. And I've been re really kicking myself in the butt for that because I really wish I didn't get rid of it. Because <clears throat> a lot of these cards now are worth not only a lot of money, but also for sentimental value as well. And also if you grew up with the show when the time when it was so high, then obviously it's going to mean a lot to you. Um, overall, I would say the characters I really enjoyed was obviously Yugi. I like Seto. I like Kaiba. I like Joey. Um, those were probably my favorite characters, not only because of the character progression, I love ancient Egypt, so I love that, I love the curses that they had in this, of the different, uh, millennium, you know, millennium items that was in there, of how Yugi had his, how, um, all these other characters had different items that would make them, you know, with different possessions and different spirits, and different items that made you do this and do that. Merrick, I think when Merrick finally came around, not only was it, I would say, badass, but at the same time, I think that's what made it even more like, oh my god, I can't believe this is happening. And then when it got further into not only the lore, but into the world of Yu-Gi-Oh!, it really made me wonder what exactly else they can do. I mean, because I thought like two or three is the highest they can go, but they even went further with different realms in Yu-Gi-Oh!, and they explored them, and they were able to bring not only, like, real life into it, but, like, just technology, and they were able to make so many different things from, like, Pokemon, Digimon, and other shows that we were able to, uh, find in this show, and be able to play the card game in real life, and be able to have the, uh, the the deck you know the wrist deck thing i can't remember the name of it uh i had that too when i was a kid and again i don't remember every little detail about you -Oh guys but i really do enjoy watching it i again i haven't touched the cards in a very long time i have not touched the the show in a long time to be able to sit down and enjoy it but overall i have very fond memories of this i may sit back at one point and rewatch it again just to kind of relive some cool childhood memories because i remember on the weekend or even on um you, you know some after school days you know be able to watch some Yu -Gi Oh or some of the uh movies and again Yu Gi Oh was one of those ones that really inspired a lot of generations and not only card players but also um different kids and teenagers to really get into train card games and write different stories of their own and I think that's what really helped the uh the the millennial generation and i would even say even still has other older generations or younger generations still to this day so there's other um ones that i may go into i have not watched like i said every single Yu Gi Oh series but again i would probably go back at some point to enjoy the franchise but overall what was your overall uh favorite of Yu Gi Oh guys did you guys enjoy the very original uh did you enjoy any of the others i have not watched them so i will not be doing any series review on those unless i do but i just want to talk about you Gi-Oh for a few minutes to you guys what was your favorite overall monster who was your favorite overall character i'd like to know down in the comments down below if you guys are new to the channel subscribe subscribing leave a like on the video you guys enjoyed i like doing this for you guys i like going over different shows that i personally watched growing up that i remember i may not remember every single detail but i'm going to try to give you what experience i had when i was young as well as also my memories and also what i think of the show personally so that's initially what i try to do in every single show review that i do but let me know what you guys think about it down in the comments down below hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you as always once again on the next one